So, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat at sa promise ko sa inyo na uh, i-review natin yung catechism sa God Died para i-promote na natin yung magisterium ng simbahan po. Okay? So, unang-una, in-encourage dito ni may, may official statement si Archbishop Romulo Valles sabi niya dito Uh, itong catechism na ito ay ni-review pa ito dahil nagbigay ng statement si si Cardinal Vidal uh, basahin ko muna yung statement ni Cardinal Vidal ha dahil hindi nila hindi nila in, 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 uh, sinasagot itong ka Cardinal Vidal ha so His Eminence Ricardo Cardinal Vidal 2017 pa ito So, sabi ni Cardinal Vidal, uh, sabi niya dito, When Jesus died on the cross, it was His human nature which was subjected to death, not His divine nature. So, malinaw na malinaw po yan. So, inaamin din natin yan na ang divine nature ni Kristo ay hindi na mamatay. <clears throat> Yung human nature lang ni Kristo. At merong kadugtong na proper understanding nito it is is not to be understood as denying that it was a divine person who died so ulitin ko ha it was a divine person who died on the cross for our faith teaches us that Jesus is only one person so walang dalawang persona si Kristo wala siyang human person yes only one person That is a divine person, the Son of God, God Himself. But the said, said statement is to be understood as that although it was truly the divine person who experienced death on the cross, yet He experienced this not in His divine nature, but in His human nature. So, malino na malino. Ito po ay statement ni Cardinal Vidal po. No, hindi po ito mababali mga kabatid so linaw na linaw so 2017 pa ito 2017 2023 na tayo ngayon pero hindi pa ito tinanggap sa ating mga mahal na kapatid sabi pa niya I therefore would like to admonish ano ba yung admonish no? reminder to reprimand all Catholic faith defenders, lahat ng mga Catholic faith defenders, to abide and ad- adhere to the decision given by the uh, Episcopal Commission of the Doctrine of Faith, which is the legitimate and competent authority to guide the faithful in the doctrine ma- doctrinal matters. So, so hinikayat na tayo ni Cardinal Vidal patungkol dito. So, 2017 pa ito. No? At ngayon, dahil marami pang mga CFD na hindi tumatanggap nito kahit may statement na si Cardinal. May akda pa ni Cardinal Vidal. Oh. May akda pa dito. Uh, sana yung mga hindi tumatanggap nito, basahin nila uli. Nang buong buo. Okay? Meron naman si ano, si Bishop Archbishop Romulo Valles, CBCP President. Okay? Sabi niya, uh, dahil nag- nagpadala ng sulat ang ating mahal na presidente, Brother Ryan Mihiliano, so April 22, 2021. This is to favorably endorse the catechesis on God died, prepared by the Catholic faith defenders of the Philippines, in spite of the fact that the catechesis has already been reviewed by the former execu- executive secretary of the Episcopal Commission on the Doctrine of the Faith in 2017. Buhay pa si Cardinal Vidal nito ha. Namatay nila si Cardinal, hindi pa natapos itong isyong ito. So, nung binasa ko, ang ganda talaga. Dubos nating maunawaan ito sa mga Catholic faith defender na maingay na maingay. Pero hindi naman bumabasa sa official document ng simbahan. Ang ating, <laughs> ang ating advice lang, friendly and fraternal advice sa ating mahal na mga kapatid, read, read, read more. Especially the document of the church and the official statement of our bishops. 
Archbishop Romulo Baliez, Archbishop of Davao, CBCP President. Sabi niya dito, na-review na yan. In spite of that, however, since it is only this time that you have asked for an endorsement from the CBCP President, I had to present it again. Oh, so, anong ginagawa ni, ni Archbishop Romulo Baliez? Hindi niya inaproba na agad, no? Sabi niya dito, I had to present it again to the new chairman. So, bago ng chairman, hindi na si Father Supan. New chairman of the commission, the most reverend Jose Rojas D.D., Bishop of Lemmanen. And then, after a very careful reading, after a very careful reading, hmm, so, hindi basta-basta ito. Hmm, inuusi sa talaga. Hmm, after a very careful reading and scrutiny, he described the work as thorough, well argued, and well refer uh, reference. Well reference, nothing in it that is contrary to the Catholic faith and morals. Sabi ni Bishop, Bishop na din ito, Most Reverend Jose Rojas, um, siya na ngayon ang bagong chairman sa Commission of the Doctrine of Faith. Therefore. I would highly recommend this catechesis to all the members of the Catholic Faith Defenders of the Philippines. Of the Philippines. So, malinaw na malinaw, ha? So, si Cardinal Vidal na, nagsasalita na din. Uh, si Archbishop uh, Valles, nagsasalita na din. Uh, at nagsasalita na din si Most Reverend Jose Rojas, na ang commission na obispo sa Doctrine of Faith. Okay. Punta naman tayo ni Jose Palma. Bakit hindi kayo nangumintaryo ni Archbishop Palma at ni Cardinal Vidal? Nagkukot lang tayo nito. Mahigit pa ba kayo ni Cardinal Vidal? Mahigit pa ba kayo kay Archbishop <laughs> Romulo Valles? Mahigit pa ba tayo kay uh, uh, Bishop Jose Rojas? Nandito na ang obispo sa, ano, sa Cebu, si Archbishop Jose Falma. Na sabi niya, sa 2022 po ito, uh, sabi dito ni Archbishop Palma, uh, address po ito kay Reverend Lucas Inok at kay uh, Father Fran Villegas. Anong sabi niya? Greetings of peace, dear, dear Father Lucas. Meron din siyang sulat kay Father Fran the same ra yung laman sa sulat sabi niya dito greetings of peace through this letter I would like to inform you and the Catholic Faith Defenders of Cebu specific po sa Cebu makinig kayo sa Cebu yung mga matigas sa ulo matigas na ulo no, wag masyadong matigas mga kapatid oh, address po ito sa inyo <laughs> Uh, I would like to inform you and the Catholic Faith Defenders Merong akda ni Cardinal uh, Archbishop uh, Rosales po Ah, uh, Jose Palma Address po ito sa CFD Cebu Lalo lalo na sa mga leader sa CFD Cebu Okay? Lalo lalo na yung maingay Laging na may personal Focus lang tayo sa doctrinal issue kapatid uh, Of which you are the spiritual director of the following instructions that I wish to point out regarding the doctrine of God died. First, that all members of the CFD, especially in Cebu, should refrain from discussing publicly or secretively the issue of God died. So, ang gusto ni Archbishop Palma, huwag nun kayong magtakol niyan. No? Para there is peace. Secondly, meron pa siyang advice, that if there be a need to discuss this issue kung hindi natin mapigilan na meron talagang mag-discuss sa issue ng ito and to answer questions about it the official reference and guide should be the CBCP approved catechesis and guideline doctrine so ano ang ating isasagot hindi yung sarili natin yung catechism sa CBCP yan ang sinabi ni Archbishop Jose Palma. Uh, sana magkomentaryo din kayo kay Archbishop Palma. Uh, lalo-lalo sa Brother Jong. Komentaryuhan niyo ito. 
Bakit hindi kayo makakomentaryo kay Bishop Palma? Nagtataka nga ako eh. Ako ay nagkukot lang. Brother John, ikaw ang pinaka pinaka mainit dyan. No? Mabuti na lang na na ating na pag-aralan itong katekisam na muling na review natin yung theology natin. Okay? At brother Jeffrey, no, brother uh, sinong pangalan nito? Uh, Danny Kugtas, mag-review kayo, brother Efren. Uh, uh, Efren uh, uh, Yap de la Pena. No, parang review nyo ito. Dahil statement po ito. No, bakit hindi kayo magkabigay komentaryo kay HB Shop Jose? Nagbabatay lang tayo dito. Anong ipromote natin? Yung C- CBCP approved catechesis on God Dying Doctrine. Hindi yung sarili ninyo. Hindi yung sarili reflection ng bawat isa natin. Not the reflection of Father Darwin, not the reflection of Brother Sok, not the reflection of Father Fran or Father Enoch. Let us promote the CBCP approved catechism on God died issue. As well as the declaration of the CBCP Episcopal Commission on the Doctrine of the Faith. Expressly stating, hindi na na dito ah, Nadahanan, nadahanan ko itong pagbasa. Expressly stating the statement, God died is to be understood literally. Sinong nagsasabi nito? Hindi si Father Darwin. Brother Jong, hindi si Father Darwin. Ang nagsasabi nito, Brother Jong, si Archbishop Palma. God died is to be understood literally, not figuratively. Hmm. With this, I entrust, nasabi ni Archbishop Palma, Reverend Father, a spiritual director of CFD Cebu that has an authority to see that this instruction be followed. Pero, ang daming hindi nakikinig sa ating mahal na obispo. Okay? So, ngayon, mga kapatid, so, itakol natin itong mm, ang ganda, ang ganda talaga. I, I am so impressed with this um, Catechesis of God Nai Doctrine sa CBCP uh, approved Catechesis of God Nai. Dito mga kapatid, sa page uh, 28, may tanong dito sa page 28. Lahat ng dinidiscuss nila ay nasagot na dito. Hmm, nasagot na talaga. Hmm. So, ang challenge ko ngayon sa mga kapatid natin, Brother Jong, bakit hindi kayo nangumintaryo kay H.B. Palma sa lungat ito, sa sinasabi ninyo? Sa lungat na sa lungat. No, maghihintay po ako. Tingnan natin kung may komentaryo kayo kay H.B. Romulo Balies. Tingnan natin may komentaryo ba kayo kay H.B. Uh, Jose Rojas. Tingnan natin. Litra po litra po yan. Na si Cardinal Vidal na nagsasabi, Divine Person died. In His human nature, not in His divine nature. Linaw na linaw po yan. Maghihintay ako. Tingnan natin. The more you uh, express your opini- opinion, it should be based on the document. Not in your personal uh, idea lang. Okay. Nito, sa page 28. May tanong. Does the expression God died mean the divinity or Godhead, the divine nature died? Ang sagot, no! Yung sinasabi ninyo na hindi mamatay ang Diyos. Malinaw na malinaw, the divine nature of Jesus, the Godhead, doesn't die. Hindi na malinaw dito. The expression God died, may karugtong pa, does not mean that the divine, divine nature or Godhead died. Wala na matay, hindi na matay yung Diyos. What it means is that the divine person who assume a human nature experience death in that nature in death his divine nature continued to be impossible and immortal lino na lino ito punto por punto mga kapatid so yung divine nature ni Cristo hindi namatay malinaw yan basahin ninyo kapatid magbasa naman kayo akala ninyo kontra ang ang document hindi ito kontra sa inyo. Nagbigay ito linaw sa confusion among us, the CFD. Okay? So, yung divine nature ni Kristo, in death, His divine nature continued to be impossible and immortal. 
Sino ba yung namatay? Who died on the cross? The divine person who assumed a human nature, experienced death in that nature. Bakit namatay ang divine person? Dahil walang kabuluhan, walang infinite value kung human effort lang. Ang namatay, ang human effort lang, without His divine person. Kung masali yung divine person ni Kristo sa kanyang pagkamatay, may infinite value yun. Kaya hanggang ngayon, kung yung nasa isip lang ninyo, ang sasakyan natin, walang infinite value yung kamatayan ni Kristo. Hmm. Dahil hindi nasali yung divine person. Si Cardinal Vidal ang sasabi na. Si Archbishop Jose Palma ang sasabi na din. Divine person literally died. Uh, ang CBCP Commission on the Doctrine of Faith nagsasabi na din the divine person literally died hmm. <laughs> sino bang nag ano sa inyo kumakampi na sa inyo yung pride na lang hmm. napatuloy so bawat isa natin pwede mag, mag, magbasa sa dogma pwede tayo magbasa hindi pero hindi tayo ang final say ang final say niyan is the magisterium okay Patuloy tayo. Ang ganda nito. Why is true? Why is it true to say God died but false to say the divinity died? Basing on rule 1 on the communication of idioms, see question 3.5. God is concrete term referring to the divine person. Therefore, the predication of idioms applies. That is, we may predicate of him those things which belong to his human nature. Divinity is, a, is an abstract term and therefore the predication of idiom does not apply. That is, we cannot ascribe to his divinity things which belong to his humanity. So, yung human nat- uh, divine nature ni Cristo is abstract yun. Hindi natin ma-apply ang mga bagay which belongs to his humanity. Therefore, dahil kung yung mga, uh, yung nature is abstract, pero yung person is concrete. Yung God, referring to the divine person, is concrete. Patuloy. There is no inter- interchange of properties between the two natures. Even though death is as- attributed and predicated to one divine person of the Lord, Jesus Christ, we should maintain the distinction between the divinity and humanity of Jesus. And the same distinction is applied as regards their operations. To suffer and to die are incidental to his human nature only. Claro, claro. So, yung suffer and die is incidental to his human nature only. Patuloy tayo. Ang ganda talaga nito kung mabasa nila buo. No? If it is true to say that God died, Yet false to say, the divinity died. Is God and His divinity disjointed or separated then? The answer to this question is already implied in the answer question point four. The human properties of Jesus, such as conception, death, are attributed to His divine person, not to His divine nature, based on rule Number one, on communication of idioms without, therefore, implying separation of the divinity from the divine person. The same argument applies to the title Mother of God. We say that the Blessed Virgin Mary is Mother of God, divine person, though she is not the mother of Jesus' divinity without thereby implying that the divinity was separated from God or divine person. So dito mga kapatid, hindi nahiwalay. No, they are because of the hypostatic union. In which nature did Jesus die? In his human nature? In his divine nature? Or in both natures? So, itong, ito ang, ito ang uh, sagot. Jesus did not die in both natures, nor in his divine nature, but in his human nature only. Uh, malina na malina yung ini-elaborate nila kala nila na wala dito sa ano sa catechesis na dito lahat sana mabasa ninyo ito kapatid uh, in this human nature means that through the human nature the divine person of Jesus suffered and died the human nature 
is the principle that makes it possible that the, for the divine person to suffer and die. So, naging possible ang kamatayan sa divine person because he assumed human nature. Okay? Merong quotation dito, the passion of Christ was the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus Christ as man. We cannot say that the God had suffered and died. It is perfectly true that he who died is God, but he is also man. The unity of the divine person of God. So it is perfectly true that he who died is God. He who died is God. But he is also man in the unity of the divine person, Son of God. So, hindi natin mahiwalay ang nature sa divine person, mga kapatid. Okay. So, meron tanong dito. Is it correct understanding? It is a correct understanding, page 30. Is it correct understanding of the Catholic faith to say that Jesus suffered and died, that only his human nature suffered and died? and not the divine person, ang sagot sa CBCP, no, it is not correct. <laughs> so, when the Lord Jesus Christ died, it is proper to say that God died. The reason is this, the subject of the action of Jesus is the divine person. Nature is metaphysics, is the principal operation, the subject. The subject of the operation is always the person, the rational beings, the divine person. Okay? Mm. Naroon din tanong dito. Is it a correct understanding that the teaching of the Catechism of the Council of Trent to say that the expression God died is not to be understood literally but figurative, figuratively? Uh, that is, anthropomorphism and synecdoche. Ang sagot, no, it is not correct. Hmm. So, figurative ba yung God died sa catechism? No, it is not correct. The expression, God died, is to be understood literally, not figuratively. <laughs> linaw na linaw ito. No. It cannot be interpreted figuratively for the following reasons. First, the church is proposing a truth of faith that not use the language of metaphor. Kapag mag, mag-state ang simbahan ng official teaching pala, it is not figurative. Mm, yan ang first reason. Okay? The dogmas of the Catholic Church, such as the existence of God, the Trinity, the Incarnation, the Resurrection of Christ, the Sacraments, a future... Future judgment, that is, has an objective reality and are facts as really and truly as it is a fact that Augustus was emperor of the Romans and that George Washington was the first president of the United States. So, first reason, ang simbahan, basta magbigay ng dogmatic statement, he will not use, she will not use metaphor. Sabi dito, The church is proposing a truth of faith does not use language of metaphor. Yan ang unang rason. Pangalawa, the language used, the language used by the Catechism of, the, of Tren is strictest truth, which is expressed in a superlative degree, should immediately rule out a figurative interpretation. Truth is defined by St. Thomas Aquinas as the agreement or confirmity of the reality and the mind's judgment on reality. Okay? If God died, is figurative, the next expression, God was born, will also be figurative. So, yung nasilang si Cristo, figurative din yun. And Mary would be a mother of God only figuratively. That position has an element of ducitism, a heresy that Christ only seemed to suffer and die, to claim that this truth Truth of faith, God died, God was born, and Mary, the mother of God, or merely figurative, is destructive to the very meaning and the purpose of incarnation. Okay? Malinaw na malinaw. Ang unang rason bakit hindi figurative? Una, uh, kapag mag-state ang simbahan na truth of faith, it is not, he will not use metaphor. Secondly, uh, the, the language used by the By the Council of Trent is strictest truth. This is a superlative degree. 
Okay. The doctrinal promulgation of the church has to be interpreted in, in its literal meaning goes with the nature of doctrinal formul formulations. The statement of the faith in the creed are not figurative but divine statements which are true and real such as true God and true man suffered and died for us. Mary the mother of God. It is literal. It is not figurative. Definitions are not figurative way of stating things. To claim that these truths of faith are figurative will destroy the very essence of dogmatic truths as infallible, definitive, and direct pro uh, proclamation. So, anong simbahan? Basta mag-declare siya ng uh, dogmatic truths, infallible, hindi siya magkamali. Definitive. Okay, definitive. Klarong klaro, linaw na linaw. Direct. Walang pasikot-sikot, mga kapatid. Okay? How do we express in our language what is real by using plain language, not figurative language? If it was real and we hold it, uh, we hold it that Jesus died and it is real also that Jesus is God, then by logic and really literal God died, not the divinity died. So, nilinaw ha? The divine person died, mm, not his divinity. May tanong na naman dito. When we say that God died, does it not necessarily mean that the Father and the Holy Spirit also died? <laughs> By virtue of the distinction of the three divine persons, within the Trinity, it is possible to say certain things with regard to one person and not to the other two. For example, only of the Father do we say that that he generates the Son. The Son is begotten of the Father. The Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. Since the Incarnation belongs only to the Son, only of the Son do we say God was born. Only to the Son that we say that God died and was buried. So, hindi kasama ang tatlong persona nito. Malinaw na malinaw kung binabasa lang ninyo ito. Sabihin nyo, God is always alive. Totoo naman yan. Pero he was incarnated, the divine person, the second divine person. Before he incarnated, wala siyang kamatayan. But he assumed human nature. Hindi mo ma-separate yung nature sa kanyang persona. Because he has only one person. Yan ang sinabi ni Cardinal Vidal. In what way is Jesus' death similar to other human human death? Sa, ang sagot, in Christ's death are verified the essential features of every human death. This include the separation of body and soul. So, sino ba itong properties nito? Human nature niya. Okay, dahil wala siyang human person. He has only one person. It is divine person. To say that Jesus truly died, therefore, is the same as saying that his body become became lifeless. It has no vital operation. This is also the same as saying that during the days he was done, he was dead in the sense he ceased to be a human uh, to be a man because man is a union of body and soul neither body nor soul in its own cons constitutes a man okay to malinaw naman now he experienced literal a uh, death his in his human nature pero sino ba yung namatay so ang tanong who died on the cross? So, kung magtanong tayo, who died on the cross, refers to the person. What dies on the cross is human nature. Who died on the cross? The divine person. Hmm. Uh, what dies on the cross is human nature. Christ's death, uh, in what way Jesus' death unlike other human death? Hmm. Anong kaibahan? So, although Christ's death was a real death in the sense that it put an end to his earthly life because of union of it. Union, his body retained with the persons of the Son, he was not mortal corpse like others. For the divine power preserved the body of Christ from corruption. So, hindi siya na, na, ano, na, na dugta, na, na corrupted. Mm, yan ang kaibahan. So, the divine nature of Jesus, the divine the divine power preserved the body of Christ from the corruption. Both of these statements can be made of Christ. He was cut off out of the land of the living, and my flesh will dwell in hope. 
for you will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor let your Holy One see corruption. So, yan ang kaibahan. No? Kung dami nito, ang ganda nito. No? Kung binabasa lang nila ito, so, they will be amazed with, okay. Ito. Ang sabi nito, the Catechism of the Council of Trent explicitly states, to suffer and die are incidental to human nature only. Does this statement mean that only human nature died and not the divine person? No! Hmm, dito naman sagot nga. No! Simply because the acts suffer and die cannot be attributed to a nature, but to a person. So, ang ganda nito. Hmm, sana ang diskusyon nila ay ganito. Mababaw lang yung diskusyon ng ating mahal na kapatid. Brother Chong, basa ka dito. Hmm, wag, uh, wag masyadong daldal. No. Well, uh, you destroy your, your good reputation. No. Naawa ko sa inyo. Note that it simply se says incidental, which means that it is the, it is the, through the human nature of Jesus that he suffered and died. Hence, this statement, no, ito na, si BCP na po ito, ha? This statement does not deny that the subject of Jesus that the subject of Jesus' suffering and death is the divine person. It doesn't deny. In the fact, the same quotation clearly points to this fact, that burial, passion, and also death apply to Jesus Christ not as God, but as man. To suffer and die are incidental to human nature only, although they are also attributed to God because predicated with, with property of that person who is at once perfect God and perfect man. The term only cannot be interpreted as excluding the divine person. Okay? The term only, nalino, nalino dito, cannot be interpreted as excluding the divine person. For this, would not only violate the basic principles of metaphysics regarding person, nature, and attribution, but will also contradict the clear teaching of the same Roman Catechism that it is the divine person who suffered and died. Question 4.4 The term only is meant to exclude the notion that Jesus in his divine nature also suffered and died due to the erroneous understanding of the hypostatic union. The church is clear that the hypostatic union, the distinction between the natures, was never abolished by their union but rather the character proper to its of the two natures was preserved. So, bakit may only? To distinguish the divine nature of Jesus. Hindi nasali sa pagkamatay yung divine nature ni Jesus. Pero yung divine nature ni Christ, divine person ni Cristo, ha, matay literal talaga. So, yan muna mga kapatid. Oh, so, nabasa ko na lahat at ang ganda. At ang tanong ko lang kay Brother Jong, Brother Efren, Brother uh, uh, Jeffrey, dahil maingay kayo, nabasan nyo ba, na, nabasan nyo ba na ito? At ang challenge sa inyong live, sa sunod na live ninyo, sana magkomentaryo kayo kay Cardinal Vidal, dahil nagsasabi na siya divine person died literally. At hihintayan ko yung komentaryo ninyo ni Archbishop, ano, Archbishop, Ah, uh, si Palma. No, sabi niya, it should be understood literally, not figurative, figuratively. At sabi naman ni Archbishop Romulo Valles, no, uh, kinukonsulta pa niya ito before he highly recommended it to all the CFD. At sabi naman ni Archbishop Palma, uh, the whole organization should, should uh, listen to the catechism of approved by the CBC. Meron pa siyang sinasabi dito, hindi ko nabasa. Uh, ulitin ko pagbasa, ha? Uh, ito po ay bago. Uh, sabi ni Archbishop Palma, uh, bago po ito. Uh, so, 2022 po ito. May 16, 2022. Nakinig po kayo. Oh, uh, uh, yung unang binasa ko is two, April 22 uh, 2021 ito bago na po ito 
last year po po ito. Sana comment. Bago kayo magkomentaryo sa akin, comment magkomentaryo muna kayo sa uh, official statement ng ating obispo. Grabe naman kayo. Hindi pa kayo makinig nito kad pangalawang ano na ito statement niya. Sabi niya. So, lahat na. Hindi lang sa Cebu ito. Whole Philippines na po ito. Sabi ni Archbishop uh, Archbishop Jose Palma to our dear Catholic faith defenders of the Philippines. Not, not only the dahil kumakalat na yung mga uh, maling uh, akala ng mga CFD Cebu sa buong Pilipinas na. So, ina-address na niya ito. Hindi lang sa Cebu. All Philippines na. Great things in the most holy name of Jesus. With this letter, I favorably endorse the catechesis on God died to our brothers and sisters in the CFD. This, bago lang ito ha, this catechesis has been found to be well written, well argued, well referenced. Kinukot niya dito si Archbishop Romulo Balias. It has also been endorsed by, ah, kinukot niya ito ni Bishop Jose ah, Rujas Bishop Jose Rujas tinan ko muna ha na Bishop Jose Most Reverend Jose Rujas Commission on Chair um, a new com Chairman of the Commission on the Doctrine of Faith okay hmm sabi niya dito, it has also been endorsed by the Archbishop Romulo Valles during his incumbency as C CBCP President, sabi ni Ar Archbishop Jose, as well as by the CBCP Commission on the Doctrine of Faith. It is my prayer that this catechesis will not just bring about study and discussion, but also lead to a deeper reflection on the trust on the truest meaning of God's love for us. So, grabe yung dasal ni Archbishop Palma. Makinig kayo, Brother Jong. Hmm. Inasali na tayo sa pagdasal niya. To the point of becoming man like us, and even to laying down his life for us, his friends. I therefore endorse this catechesis. Anong endorse niya, Brother Jong? Itong catechesis na ito. Makinig kayo. Maka, maghihintay ako sa komento ninyo against ni Archbishop Palma, ha? Dahil siya ang nag-endorse nito, nakikinig lang ako. Naghihintay tayo sa tamang panahon, sa tamang oras na magsasalita. At matagal nito, last year na po ito. Okay? Pakinig kayo yung mga hindi tumatanggap sa catechesis sa CBCP. Anong sabi ng ating mahal na obispo? I therefore endorse this catechesis to all the members of the Catholic Faith Defenders. Ang sabi nila, ah, hindi kami CFD ngayon. No? Personal opinion. Pero bakit kayo nagla-live dyan sa office sa CFD? <laughs> Nagtatak ka lang ako. No? Tingnan nyo yung mga argumento sa ating mahal na kapatid ay uh, pasok, uh, papasok, palabas. No? Walang direksyon talaga. Sabi, ulitin ko muna ha, I therefore endorse this catechesis. Ihintay ako. Bakit wala kayo komento against the Archbishop Palma? Hmm. Ang kinukomentary yuhan ninyo si Father Je Greg. Ang daming komentaryo. Naging marites si Father Greg. Hmm. Si Father Fran. Si Father Abby. Ang kinukomentary yuhan ninyo. Ngayon, challenge ko kayo. Komentary yuhan nyo ito. Dahil pinupromote niya ang CBCP. Katekisa on God Nine. Okay? Ihintay ako. Tingnan natin. Uh, magkomentaryo kayo against Archbishop Palma. Tingnan natin. No? Kung uh, mayroon pang tatanggap sa inyong kaparian. Okay? Uh, tingnan natin yung uh, pride ninyo. Okay. Gabalikin ko ha. Last year pa ito. May 16, 2022. Last year. I therefore endorse. Hindi kayo dyong. Brother Efren de la Peña, makinig ka. Brother Jeffrey, makinig kayo. I-roll call natin itong mga taong ito, ang kapatid natin, na hindi na nakinig sa official na turo ng simbahan. Ang pinakinggan nila, yung opinion nila. Yan. 
makit ma, ma, ma marinig naman natin sa kanilang sariling uh, sariling uh, diskusyon okay I endorse I therefore endorse this Catholic Jesus linaw na malinaw to all the members of the Catholic Faith Defenders that you accept in obedience ito nang problema kapatid <laughs> you should accept in obedience to the magisterium ang ganda nagbigay ng statement na no? si Archbishop Palma and in commitment to your organization sana yung obedience natin given this May 16 in the year of our Lord 2022 at the Archbishop Palace uh, 234D Hakusalem Street, Kogon Ramos, Cebu City, Philippines. With my paternal blessing, I remain sincerely yours, Jose S. Palma Didi, Archbishop of, Cebu. Archbishop of Cebu. Okay, lahat ng mga safe day na nag-accuse na tayo ay rating sila na yung pag-iksad niya yun. <laughs> so, maghihintay pa sa live ninyo, ha? Ang hihintayin ko ngayon, challenge ko, Brother Jong, bakit wala kang komentaryo, Archbishop Palma? Bakit wala kayong komentaryo kay uh, Bishop Jose Rujas, ang present chairman sa Commission on the Doctrine of Faith? Pangatlawa, pangatlo, bakit wala kayong komentaryo ni Cardinal Vidal? Buhay pa si Cardinal Vidal dito. Oh, bakit wala kayong komentaryo, kapatid? Mm, sige, hindi ako, believe ako sa inyo ang tapang ninyo. <laughs> Tingnan natin yung tapang ninyo hanggang saan niya naabot. Pang-apat, hmm, bakit wala kayo komentaryo kay Archbishop Romulo Valles? Bakit wala kayo komentaryo kay Cardinal uh, Jose, Archbishop Jose Palma? Okay? Maghintay ako sa live ninyo dahil nakikinig din ako para mabigyan natin ng para marami ng ma- ma-enlighten. So, uh, ang No? Uh, ito ay ang ganda uh, mga 58 pages po 58 pages po so sa lahat ng mga CFD oh, ito na po mag resolve ng issue sa conflict sa God died. ito na po okay so magbabasa tayo mag tayo matulog mga kapatid okay so God bless you more abundantly Father Darwin uh, Dahlia Alipuyo at si Early Suminget from Cebu City here, walang ministry of exorcism naman sa mga simbahan dito, totoo. Pero meron tayong mga appointed exorcist dyan. Nandyan si Father Fortitz, nandyan si Monsignor Quintanar, maraming mga pari. Si Early Dumagin, uh, watching from Kauswagan, Lanao del Sur, Lanao del Norte pala. Uping nga makaanhi ka, Father. Puhon, no? At si Rafael tubog. Uh, Father, titakit sa Dabao, Turil, oh, puhon. G.E. Quartabs, good evening, Father, watching from Walbual. O si Ate Orsi, si Dave Diaz, na nanonood din, Maria Lourdes, uh, Faconla, Lourdes from Iligan City, wow. Si Jura Mormont, watching from Pisunet. Pisunet. Oh, Pisunet. <laughs> oh, hug-hug na yun. Good evening, Father Darwin, watching from Macau, Lily Beth, si Michelle Metz, Father, I'm watching from Jendras Cavite. May CFT po ba dito sa Cavite? Hindi ko alam. Si Chibok Valenzuela, Naga City. Beth Garay. Good evening, Father. Si Rune Yike uh, Gamayan. Pasyad of Cebu City, Father. Vinci Aquiris. Father, watching from Malay, Balay City. Jetro Opinia. God bless, Father. I'm watching from Hinguog. Rosali uh, Pipito. Si Elvin Bahadi. Des Abad San uh, Sumanda and dami Bilhin ni Gamon Resti Valio Cari, Carolino at uh, Jima Kaday Jerome Padayao oh, si Brother Luis uh, uh, Kia Chungan praying sa kayusan sa nang safety nationwide uh, salamat Ate Orse at si Lester Cabalias from Perth Western Australia So we will be united in truth, no? Not in our own opinion, and it will lead us. Uh, Clyde Vitiano, good evening, Padre. Shout out 
Nice ka ayod yun ng katikisa ng God died. Pati, salamat sa mga obispo. Padahin yun sa pagsulti sa kamatuuran. Nico Natchez, uh, kailangan ka pupunta sa, kailangan ka pupunta sa Cavite. Walang pang schedule. Si Mila Angelo Manara, hi. At si Ruby Vanyas, Conchita Gamayon, Limukon Dimyo, oh, nanonood sila sa Limukon Dimyo. Si Marilu uh, Tapungot, Reynold Canlas, uh, Jelin Pulado, uh, Lawrence uh, Humamoy, si Sister Im Imper, no? GM Gonzaga, Annabelle Badelia, Tata uh, Charcos Nali. So, wala na tayong oras mga kapatid. Fight Maria, tatak safety with a humble heart po. God bless.